Hello and welcome back everybody to your favorite evolution simulator. Yes, we've had two videos on this, both went wonderfully, so we're gonna go at it again. Uh, today we're going to make weird creatures for very strange uh, environments, and today we're going to try to make something that can actually climb. I've been thinking for a while about how I'm going to go about doing it, and I think I have an idea. We're going to make a central cube, and then we're going to have four flippers. And the flippers are going to flip it up where it needs to go. Uh, we don't want them to stick out too far, though, because we don't want it to get caught on them. It just has to be enough. It just has to be enough for it to be able to move around. By giving it four corners, it will always have a flipper in range of a stair. So we're gonna make sure the center of the box is very strong. And now we're going to give it control of its flippers. Each flipper will be controlled by two muscles. And actually, let's do three. We'll connect the flippers to each other too, so if it needs a lot of strength, the extra distance will help it a lot. So this is a very, very strong four legs. Let's try it. Now someone did say that uh, I was doing it wrong because I wasn't giving it enough time. Yes, I know, if I gave it more time, it would work a whole lot better. However, that would uh, be an interesting video. If something looks very promising, I may leave it running for a long time for the sake of this video. But we can already see that it's getting better. Um, as time goes on, the flippers are actually learning to slow it down at least. I don't think they're really getting the point of it yet. So what I'm going to do is, oh boy, that one is, uh, that one was interesting. I'm going to leave this running for a bit and then we're going to come back and I will see you all then. Bye. Boop. Okay, so... It would appear that not much progress has been made. Let's see how the entire group of them are doing. Uh, they're all going kind of terribly. We're at generation 90, so I have a feeling it's not going to get much better from here. I think I made it too complex. I think if I simplify this a little bit, we can teach it how to do it. We're going to get rid of the muscles in between the legs because I feel like they're stifling it from a bit of movement. So let's try this again. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm horribly wrong. So it looks like right off the bat, we're kind of having the same result. I think that the muscles are just really bad with coordinating with each other. Um, the issue is that I think they need each other. Maybe not. Let's delete the right muscle for each one, or it's not right anymore. Let's just make it go in a circle. Let's see how it does now. Will it be able to use its simplified muscles uh, more efficiently? See, it should be able to contract it to pull itself up the hill, but doesn't know that. See, it's learning to slow itself down. It is sticking its leg out at the right time to slow itself down, but it's not physically trying to climb up. It technically is doing better, but it's not in the direction we want it to be going. Now, I have an idea for something that may actually win this. Um, a centipede. Or kind of like a centipede. What we do is we get lots of joints. This may be a little bit overkill. And then we give it lots of little legs. And with this, it'll be able to pull itself up, and the amount of friction it will have will keep it from sliding down. Its legs will get stuck in between the stairs, and that'll give it the grip it needs. So let's see. Oh, boy. Control Z. Please tell me Control Z is a thing. Control Z is not a thing. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, bone. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh. The point is, it should be able to handle this. Uh, maybe not. I'm only worried about the complexity with my computer. 
I don't want my computer to explode from the amount of processing power. It's fun, it's like a Bitcoin mining level. This is quite a few things moving at the same time. I can probably make the frame of it a little bit more stable if I give it more of a body, but let's see how it does with this. Will it just... That's what I said was gonna happen. Um, I was correct, wasn't I? Come on. Go back. Go back. The lag. Uh, we're gonna bring the population down to 25. Let's see how half does. Evolve. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's kind of falling apart. And by kind of, I mean it's absolutely falling apart. Although it does manage to not fall down the stairs. You see that? That is progress. So the idea of using all the little legs for friction is not crazy. Is actually quite good. Oh, maybe it will learn to climb it. It's it's doing better each time at uh holding its head on. But let's make a change to it. Instead, we're going to put a joint here. No, it doesn't need to be that close. Put a joint here. I'm just worried it'll flip over. And then we're going to create a backbone. And this backbone is going to keep it stable. Yes, this is a little bit overkill. However, we want this to work. And so we're going to do it right. Do, 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 do. Bam. Mwahaha. Oh boy. Okay, it looks like that's a little bit too many bones. They are actually not flopping around though, so that's progress. Okay, let's try 10 per generation. Okay, that's working fine. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, look at that. That's weird. It looks kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> Learn to climb. It just looks really sad. It's a very, very sad creature. These are being held, but not well. It's not... It's not a great job I've done. Um... The problem is I can't have that many legs without that many joints. We're gonna redesign this completely. I have faith in our ability to redesign things. Can we just do a new creature? Boop. Boop. Okay, so what if we do a joint... A joint... So we've come to the conclusion that having... A uh, longer creature will make it more sturdy. More legs will give it more uh, ability to pull itself. So why don't we go kind of in the middle and create a structurally sound creature. And to do that, we will build it like a bridge. We'll make supported sections. There we go. Looks like a piece of truss. Um, and then we put the little legs under it, which I think actually work better when they're slightly larger. So I think we're gonna go with this. I think this may be a good idea. Will this be able to climb the stairs though? That's the question. Oh, where's that gonna anchor? Do this, 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 this. Um, we can do this. Give it a butt. And then we put some muscle across. Let's see how this works. Oh my. 
We may have done it. It can climb. Not really. It has to learn. But it will learn. Okay, let's get some more... Let's get some more population per generation. I think 25 is going to work fine. And it will. Okay. I actually have a lot of hope for this. It looks like it's actually trying. Oh! Look at that! It is! It's learning to climb! Yes! Come on! Once it can actually make a full step, it's going to be beautiful. Come on. Someone skipped leg day. But in all seriousness, I have a lot of faith in this design. If we scaled it up a bit. Oh. Oh. It's so close to making it up. It's so good. No! It tripped! Oh, that's so sad. Come on. Come on, get that leg up. Ah, uh, it just needs to get its front leg onto that one step. So let's give it a little bit. Uh, we'll do a bit of a time lapse here, and we will see how it does. Uh, see you all in a little bit. It uh, didn't, it got close, but it wasn't quite. So, let's ask, what's wrong? Well, first it was a little bit too challenging for it to carry its body. So instead we're gonna make its body a little bit smaller. That'll give it a little bit of an easier time. We're going to give it legs that are a little bit smaller so they don't get stuck as much. And we're gonna keep everything else about the same. I think by around generation 20, it stops really changing if it's not gonna go anywhere. So we're gonna see how this goes. I think that this little version of the centipede is gonna go a lot better. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Evolve. There's a little piece that just fell off over. Um, well, that's interesting. It's clearly having a little bit of trouble, but is it going to continually fall over like that? Oh? Maybe not. Me. Oh. Rip. Ripperoni. It's a little bit off balance. Um, if we just add one more section to it. There we go. Maybe this will work. That gives it a little bit more power too. I'm just worried about the leg getting stuck on things. Okay there. So now it's not falling down. Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, we are, uh, we are making slight progress. I mean, it doesn't fall. However, it's not learning. It's not learning anything. And that is a problem. We need it to climb. We need it to climb like a beautiful climber. Yeah, I don't know. We can keep it from falling, but that's the most we've been able to do. Huh. Well, I guess we did try. I'm gonna have to get a little bit smarter about my designs. Because this is just disappointing. But this has run really long, guys, so thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more. Leave any ideas you've got below, and I will see you all next time. I actually think that this dot may be messing with it. Because it changes the value of the uh, simulation by falling further.
But no, it, it doesn't look like this is gonna go anywhere. Next time we'll try something else. The climbing simulation is just too challenging. Bye.